We believe in individual soul liberty. Individual soul liberty. What does that mean? That's why the Anabaptists, right? That's why those Paulicians and those Waldensians, that's why those people did not join themselves with the Roman Catholic Church, did not ro jo join themselves. Uh, that, uh, that's why the, the believers, the New Testament believers that came from the apostles did not join themselves with Constantine the Great. Why? Because we believe that you cannot legislate Christianity. Individual soul liberty means that you must, of your own accord, choose to be saved. You must decide to believe. It is a choice that you must make. And listen, we just lost all of the Calvinists. Right? Let me read for you out of Romans 10, verse 9. It says that if. Now it says if because you get a choice. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised from the dead. He's saying if you believe in your heart that God has raised from, from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed, for there is no difference between Jew and Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. Romans 10, 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. See, we believe as Baptists in individual soul liberty. God doesn't choose who gets saved. God opens it up for everyone. Anyone who wants to can be saved. The, the, the price has been paid. He offers it to all, and you must choose whether you want to come or not, whether you want to believe or not, whether you want to be saved or not. Basically what that means is you're not born into the religion that you are. You have the right to choose to be saved. And as Christians, we don't f try to force people to believe what we believe. We ultimately just leave you with a choice. Are you there in Revelation 22? Look at verse 17. And the spirit and the bride say come, and let him that heareth say come, and let him that is a thirst come. Don't miss this. And whosoever will, Whosoever will, let him take of the water of life, really. See, we believe in individual soul liberty. You want to be saved? You can be saved. You want to reject it? That's between you and God. We're going to try to warn you. We're going to try to get you saved. But we don't believe that God chooses who gets saved. It's individual. It's your own of your own free will.